Hi guys, here we are at Rutland Water. Um, it's uh, it's quite windy, but hoping that it's not too windy on this part. We've just come into the Whitwell car park. Um, w h i t w e l l, which seems to be the, the sort of windsurfing water sports area. Um, we parked over there. You see, you can see the van actually from there. Um, but yeah, it's very windy, obviously at the moment. And uh, so I think the sun is out there. I don't know whether you can hear me or not now because of the wind. But so walk round. Um, on, with hindsight, probably should have parked at the Sykes Lane car park, so we're going to try and walk that way now. It says it's three miles. Um, Bruno's already tired, so we're just going to carry on. It's, it's very nice. A bit muddy though, still. If you walk all the way around Rutland Water, you will cover 24 miles in total. Swimming in the water is permitted. And in March 2023, when we visited, we paid £8 for up to five hours. Um, but you can park for £10 for the whole day. And that was in the car park that we went to, which was Whitwell. But I'm sure that they must all be the same. You can also um, hire bikes from the Whitwell entrance, um, which is also called the North Shore, and also from the South Shore. They've got their own uh, cycling hire shops there. There also used to be, back in the 1960s, a village called Nether Hambleton, which now um, is de was demolished and now remains under the water at Rutland Water. So we've walked right the way round, not any, anywhere near it, did you say? Three quarters of the way around it. Yeah, it's probably Yeah. But it looks like it's gonna rain, it's gone very dark. Bruno needs a drink, so we're gonna head up head on back. But we'll definitely come here earlier on a a nicer day. It's a beautiful sort of countryside. There's sheep over there. Like I say, you've got to keep your dogs on the lead. But I think Bruno's uh, about had it already now. <laughs> it's had it for today. But it is very, very nice. We've got a long way to walk back. So we're at the Sykes Lanes car park and um, we just come round to go to the toilet. There's a little um, children's playground there. As you can see Bruno is absolutely shattered as per usual. There's a cafe which is closed at the moment but it's quite a big car park. Um, taps for the dog with dog water, um, dog water. And toilet facilities. Toilet facilities are nice actually. Yeah clean. Clean. Quite and a few cubicles as well which is a surprise. Hand wash, hair dryers, not hair dryers, what do I mean? <laughs> Hand dryers even. Yeah, Bruno's just had a drink from there, look. So yeah, all the facilities. And like I say, a big car park as well. This cafe at the moment is being refurbished. This is March 23. So it should be open, I would have thought, by the high season. Oh, the wind's getting up a bit now. And it's uh, starting to go rather dark. <laughs> um, 
but yeah it's a big place we've only walked a fraction of it um, yeah it's really really lovely It's a long trek round to the other side. Oh, we're having a walk back now to the van. You can tell Bruno's shutty because he's not pulling, not pulling your arm off. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a really big place. And yeah, I would imagine it would be absolutely packed out in the summer. It does say dogs must be left on the leads at all times. Um, so there's a fine of 500 pounds. So well, we've only just seen that sign. But understandable because there's wildlife and things everywhere and um, yeah really nice nearly back where we started it's very nice it's peaceful winds dropped a bit now quite a few boats as you can see here one for sale there 1500 pounds And the sun's trying to break through, I think. We're just going to go back to the van now and have a nice cup of tea. Nothing like a lovely cup of tea. And some soup on the go. After a nice long walk at Rutland Water. <laughs> 